this is a video showing what it looks like when you go over a polygloss finish with super fine steel wool. Uh, this is the finest you can get, which is the four zeros. Uh, this is a Shake the C1 Classic. It's in the green finish. Um, it has a really thick polygloss finish on it, and it had it along the neck as well, which would get really sticky. Uh, so what I did was put a piece of tape here, a uh, bit of tape along the binding, as well as the other side, and a bit of tape here just to make it look neat. And then I got a piece of steel wool uh, and just lightly pressed over it up and down the neck and across and then in swirls. I did that for about 15 minutes until the finish was converted to a nice satin finish. Um, if you look up closely with a light, you can see that it's actually made up of tiny little scratches. Um, you've got to make sure you don't press too hard with the steel wool or you'll get deep scratches which you won't be able to buff out. The neck's really smooth now. You need to spend a good 15 minutes to get enough scratches to convert it to the satin finish. Over time your hand will actually convert it back to the gloss finish so you'll probably need to do this more than once. As, as long as you don't press too hard it should be reversible. You should be able to buff it out 